Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Ruchri Garwal. I welcome you to web-based programming class. Today's topic is PHP database connectivity. So we will be discussing database connectivity through ODBC. ODBC is Open Database Connectivity. It is an API application programming interface that allows you to connect to a data source. MS Access Database. So first of all, we have to create ODBC connection. With an ODBC connection, you can connect to any database on any computer in your network as long as ODBC connection is available. So here are steps on how to create ODBC connection to MS Access Database. Open Administrative Tools icon in your control panel. Double click on the data sources ODBC icon inside. Choose the System DSN tab. Add on click in the System DSN tab. Select the Microsoft Access driver and then click finish. In the next screen, select, click on the select to locate the database. Give the database a DSN, data source name, then click OK. So connecting to an ODBC data source, the ODBC connect function is used to connect to an ODBC data source. This function takes four parameters, data source name, username, password, and an optional cursor type. So data source name is used for the connection. Username, you can provide your uh, whatever username you want to give and followed by the password. And the cursor type is optional. This cursor type sets the type of the cursor to be used for this connection. This parameter is not normally needed, but can be useful for working out problem with some ODBC drivers. So a few constants are defined for cursor type like SQL underscore CUR underscore use underscore if underscore needed. Uh, SQL underscore CUR underscore use underscore ODBC. And third one, SQL underscore CUR underscore use underscore driver. The connection ID returned by uh, ODBC underscore connect function is needed by other ODBC functions. You can have multiple connections open at once as long as they either use different database or different credentials. With some ODBC driver executing a complex stored procedure may fail with an error similar to cannot open a cursor on a stored procedure that has anything other than single select statement in it. Using SQL underscore CUR underscore use underscore ODBC may avoid that error. Also, some drivers does not support the optional row underscore number parameter in ODBC fetch row function. SQL underscore CUR underscore use underscore ODBC might help in this case too. ODBC underscore con uh, execute EXEC function, it's used to execute an SQL statement. Following example creates a connection to DSN called NotWin with no username, no password. It creates an SQL and execute it. So we have this CONN object name. ODBC underscore connect. So you are providing the database name without any username and password. DSN is not print. Now SQL query you want to select asterisk from customer's table name and all the records you want to fetch and you are storing in SQL variable. Then we have one more variable RS ODBC underscore EXC. Then you are passing the connection variable and the SQL variable. Now for retrieving records, we have ODBC underscore fetch underscore row function. It is used to return records from the result set. This function returns true if it is able to return rows, otherwise it will return false. 
this function takes two parameters odbc result identifier and an optional row number odbc underscore fetch underscore row and you are passing rs variable what is rs we pass this odbc underscore exe command and we store the result in this rs variable now you want to fetch the records from this result set so you are using odbc underscore fetch underscore row and you are passing this rs variable retrieving fields from a record odbc underscore result function is used to read fields from a record this function takes two parameter odbc result identifier and a field name or a name this code below, return, uh, below returns the value of the first field from the record. So we are using odbc underscore result and we are passing this rs variable comma one and we are storing in variable compt name. So the value of the first field from the record will be stored in company name. This is how you retrieve fields from a record. Retrieving fields from record, this uh, code below returns the value of the field called company name. In the previous code, we have mentioned the field number. Here we are writing the field name, company name. So Syntax is same, odbc underscore result and in bracket you are passing rs variable comma the field name. Here field name is company name and the result will be stored in comp name. So you can use both the ways. Either you use the numbers, field number or you use the particular field name and you can retrieve the records. Then we, if suppose we want to close the connection after using it, so we have to use odbc underscore close function. It is used to close an odbc connection. So odbc underscore close and the connection variable we have to pass in bracket, dollar conn. So first we connect and then we execute the queries, retrieve the records and then we close the connection. Let's see one example. This example will show you how to create a database connection, then a result set and then display the data in an HTML table. So. Here, what we did, odbc underscore connect, we pass the name of the database and store in this conn variable. Then if, it will return true or false, if dollar conn, then we put exit connection failed. If in case, this connection is not established, so the error will come, connection fail and it will exit. If connection is established, then you are passing this SQL query, select asterisk from customer and you are storing in SQL variable. Then you are using odbc underscore exec and you are passing the connection variable and this SQL variable. And again, you are checking if not equal to $RS, then exit error in SQL. If in case this command is not executed, then again it will exit by giving the error in SQL. Echo table, echo th, table header is company name, contact name, while odbc underscore fetch underscore row rs, you are passing this rs variable where you have executed this odbc underscore exe, you are passing connection variable and SQL variable. 
so it will check while odbc fetch row rs then in company name you will you want to retrieve odbc results rs and you are passing company name so it will retrieve the company name and store in comp name similarly odbc results rs contact name it will retrieve contact name and store in con name variable then it will echo it will print the company name dollar comp name dollar con name contact name so you retrieve the records and print it and then you want to close the connection odbc underscore close and you are passing the connection variable dollar con this is how we connect to to database through odbc thank you have a nice day